and stay down. What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Demon Slayer. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we got Patreon, channel membership, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Demon Slayer Entertainment District Arc Episode 7. Yo, last episode, Nezuko transformed. All right, enough said. Let's watch it. Episode 7, Transformation. Mm-hmm. She put her foot down saying, Stay down! Greater than hers. <gasps> Whoa. You guys saw that smile? Nesco's liking it. Very interesting how the siblings are helping. Dang, he's being brutal. Yo, <laughs> she's like, get off me, yo. Regeneration instantaneously. Dang. She can control her body parts even though they're not connected. <gasps> Through the blood! That's crazy! Just like that day? Oh, something must have happened when she was still human. Damn! I wonder why Nesco's thing is like kicking, like the leg power. Yo, her blood turned into flames. Oh, amazing. But how is Tanjiro gonna calm her down? Oh, snap. The blood. Restrain yourself! Restrain yourself! That's why you had the bamboo in your mouth! Whew! Clutch! Clutch! Oh, he said, I'm sorry I made you fight. Okay, that chick, she needs to run away right now. Oh, his eyes. Oh, 
Oh, it's taking forever for her to heal. Zoo, you better hurry up and help out. There we go. There we go. Whew. All of these <laughs> close calls. <laughs> One after another. <laughs> Is she becoming a flashy demon? <laughs> no one told her to become a flashy demon. <laughs> You're no upper rank demon? Wait. <gasps> when did that happen? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. She's like, huh? Exactly. Still calls him the god of festivals. Overtaken in a flashy way. So fast, too. How? How is he going to get her under control? Just be unflashy and sing her a lullaby? That scene seemed important. Are you going to sing a lullaby your mom sang? Oh, his nose. Oh, it's working. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh, the mom is singing now.
His eyes are red because she ate red berries. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Oh, she's crying. Oh, and she's reverting. Oh, he went to kid mode. What <laughs> aren't you? He's totally arguing with her. Did she just cry? She's acting so bratty. Yeah, she's throwing a tantrum. Oh, Nichan. Was he in her body the whole time? Mm -hmm. Wait, did her hair get shorter? And he has green hair! Was he the green part of her hair? He's healing her! Why does he look like that? This guy is just pointing out all of... What the fudge? Bullied her? What the fudge?
what with what little brains she had. Been around. We got Docky and Gu Toddle. That's crazy. That demon totally seemed like he had insecurities. And he kept pointing out Azui's prominent features. <laughs> In a flashy way. <laughs> Why can't he gain weight? He mentioned that. Why? I'm a flashy, glamorous ladies' man. So that's a no brainer. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of like Zenitsu, huh? Flying blood sickles? Damn. Finally, they're running away. <laughs> wow, he can really control the blood. Is the brother the main unit? Dang! It's not going to be a walk in the park. So they're like symbiotic. Two people in one. How did that happen? Nin nin. Oh, <laughs> all right. That episode was just oh gosh, it was so good with Nezuko showing her transformation and kicking butt, and when Daki like cut off her body parts, she was still connected through her blood. Like her blood congealed and was acting like a little connection between all the body parts. It's like, what the heck? 
it was sort of like Doki's um way of using the belt. Like when what's my call? When Tanjiro went to cut Doki's neck, she used the belt to like extend it so it wouldn't get cut off. And Nezuko did something similar, except she just reconnected everything through the blood. And then, oh, I, I forgot about it. I, oh, I feel bad for forgetting about it. And then, the blood, Nezuko's blood, was on Daki. And Nezuko used her blood art to make her blood turn into flames. Oh my gosh, that was so cool! It's like Nezuko... Oh, such a good fighter! Oh, it's amazing! And I really like that when she's transformed, like, this is probably not her final form, but this one, this transformation, she's older! It's like, this is the oldest she's ever been. This is like her maturity, her peak. I don't think it's her peak, but it seems like it. And then when Tanjo went to calm her down and she he he used the mother's lullaby and she starts crying oh that was such a touching scene seeing a demon a badass demon cry and then you just saw the regeneration to being a child oh. i really like how they kind of like led built that up to that lullaby from uzui saying calm her down with a lullaby and literally Tanjiro used the mother's lullaby and they had a mom singing it at one point. Oh gosh. Then, okay, then when Azui comes to the rescue, cuts up Daki's head, it's revealed that Daki is not a real upper rank demon. And it turns out there was a demon inside of her? A brother? Is this brother sister supposed to be a parallel to Tanjiro and Nezuko's brother sisterness? Not too sure. But Nezuko's out. She's sleeping to heal. I don't know if she's going to come back again and fight. And then it's going to be like, siblings versus siblings. Not too sure. I, I doubt it. Because she takes a while to heal when she's sleeping, right? But besides that, that dude. Gosh, what was his name? Uh, Utado. He's creepy. He's really creepy. And he had green hair, which I'm assuming he was the green part of Doki's hair. Because she had, like, white hair and then green ends, right? I'm assuming he was the green part. And he was... He looked anorexic. And he had all these blemishes or birthmarks all over his body. And it seems like when he was human, he was kind of like that already. So he has all these insecurities. I'm just wondering if Daki and Kyutaro has like a symbiotic relationship where he rests inside of her while she feeds. Like when she's feeding, she's feeding for both of them. Like he can only feed through her. I'm wondering if that's the case. And another interesting thing is he had two weapons, just like Azui. And so it's like two weapons versus two weapons. And his weapons look like they're part of his body. Like it, was, it looked like it was made out of bones, veins, flesh, blood. It was really cool looking. <clears throat> oh gosh, this is really good. And this is only episode seven. So good. So good. So good. So good. Oh, and another thing. So I haven't looked that far ahead yet, but the Hinokami thing, the flashback that we saw through Doki on Muzan's memory. So on TikTok, I asked, I like, did like a little survey. Do you think if this is Doki's father or ancestor? And someone pointed out it's neither. It's someone else. And it gets explained in this arc. And I was like, what? So they were saying that it was already explained. So I looked it up. It, it's not explained yet. It'll be explained at the end of the arc, though. <laughs> so we got that mystery. And we won't know uh, fully about it until the end of the arc. It's, <laughs> it's like a tip 
difficult, like, demon slayer thing. Every time at the end of the arc, something is revealed. <laughs> uh, or, like, something is uh, mentioned and then it's fully explained towards the end. <laughs> Gosh. But besides what I've been saying and such... What do you think? What did you think about this episode and this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, this is... <clears throat> other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to Demon Slayer Entertainment District Arc Episode 7. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters!